coming out today. We're so excited to be here today to discuss the great undercard, which will be led, the lead into our long-awaited history-making event this Saturday night, Mayweather versus Pacquiao. In our co-main event, we'll have Leo Santa Cruz versus Jose Pagiano, a 10-round featherweight bout. In the opening pay-per-view bout, we'll have Vasilio Lomachenko versus Emilia Rodriguez, a 12-round fight for the WBO featherweight world title. This event is promoted by Mayweather Promotions and Top Rank Incorporated. Our sponsors are Takate Con Character, Paramount Pictures and Sky Dance Productions, Ter Terminator Genesis and Theaters July the 1st, Paramount Pictures and Sky Dance Productions present Mission Impossible, Rogue Nation in Theaters and IMAX July 31st. The Weinstein Company and the new movie, Southpaw, starring Jake Gallardo in theaters everywhere July 24th in Mexico, live it to believe it. The pay-per-view telecast will be produced and co-distributed by Showtime Pay-Per-View and HBO Pay-Per-View beginning at 9 p.m. Eastern Time and 6 p.m. Pacific. Next up to the podium, I'd like to introduce none other than legendary Hall of Fame promoter Bob Aaron. Thank you, Lennon. What we are going to be doing here is I will first introduce the two non-televised fights that we have produced. Leonard will introduce his non-televised fights and we'll go from there. Uh, I know that every fighter who's on this card deems it to be a tremendous honor to be part of this great event. And uh, we hope and believe that we will be presenting uh, to the public, both Mayweather Promotions and Top Rank, uh, the best of boxing and the best fighters. The first fight that I'd like to introduce uh, matches two top welterweights. From Chicago, Adrian Granados, and from Lafayette, Louisiana, the undefeated Brad Sullivan. So first, I'd like to call to the microphone, and I, I know all of these young men are anxious and would like to address you. Uh, from Chicago, Adrian Granados. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, just uh, definitely, like Bob said, you know, it's definitely an honor to be here. Um, just here, you know, to give him my all, show everybody that, you know, the guy from Chicago comes to fight hard, coming to win, and uh, coming to look impressive. Um, but once again, just very honored. I want to thank God for this opportunity, my family, and my friends that support me back at home. And uh, definitely going to put on a good fight. Thank you. Thank you, Adrian. And now, a young man with an undefeated record, uh, an outstanding 24 wins and no knockouts. He's one of the leading fighters in the welterweight division. Please welcome Brad Solomon. Brad. Good afternoon, everyone. First of all, I want to thank God. I want to thank Bob and my promoter. I want to thank my manager. I want to thank my team. It's just so exciting to be on a call like this. I work hard. I've been working from day one. That's what kept me out of trouble. When I got introduced to boxing, and my eyes just on the floor. So I'm just so excited to be on a call like this, and I want to thank all the camera folks out there, just everybody that done their job to make this fight happen and me being on this call. And Saturday night, you see an exciting fight out of Brad Solomon. Thank everyone. Next. We have a super middleweight 10-round fight 
for the USBA, NABO, NABF, uh, super middleweight uh, title. It matches two undefeated fighters. Mike Jimenez from Chicago, 17-0, and a young man that we regard as someone special from Philadelphia, Jesse Hart. Jesse is the son of a man who trains him now, his father, who, when I was starting in boxing, I recognized as one of the great, great middleweights in the world. A man that everybody was afraid to fight, and that's Cyclone Hart. So first, let me bring to the microphone uh, from Chicago, the undefeated Mike Jimenez. Mike? How's everyone doing? Uh, first, I'd like to thank God for the opportunity that I have in front of me. Uh, I'd, like to make, I'd like to thank Bob Arum, top rank. I'd like to thank Mayweather Promotions. And uh, I'm just very excited to be here, I'm excited to be part of this big event in this uh, sort of fight. Um, it's going to be a, it's going to be an exciting fight between Jesse and I. I've been training my butt off. I've been uh, working hard and uh, just excited to be here, excited for the opportunity and uh, going to represent Chicago well and uh, just ready for, ready for the action, ready for that bell to go. So uh, see you guys Saturday night. Thanks for the opportunity. And now we're going to hear from a young man who I am sure will be on stages like this, if not this stage, uh, many times in the years to come. A tremendous fighter out of the town that's the hotbed of boxing, and always has been, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Uh, please welcome uh, Jesse Hart and his trainer and father, Cyclone. Good afternoon. Uh, I want to thank God first for this opportunity. Um, there's a lot of familiar faces here I've seen pass along the years going up. Uh, my brother, Chris Pearson. Um, my Olympic training coach, uh, Al Mitchell. Um, my sisters, everybody here, um, this is the moment I've been waiting for. I mean, you got to understand, I'm, I've been performing on cards like this since I, I turned pro. I've been here before. Um, uh, it's, a long, it's been a long road, but as you see, you know what I mean? Like Bob said, we're going to be performing on great, great, great cards like this. Um, you're, going to get used to seeing, you're going to get used to seeing my face. Um, May 2nd is the first night I'm going to make my mark. This, is, this fight is not going to distance. This kid will not last 10 rounds. Thank you. I'd like to say that, you know, I've been uh, a good child, a good sport uh, fighter to come up out of Philadelphia. <laughs> At, I'm born and raised in North Philadelphia. We've been surrounded by a lot of good fighters that I come up with. Georgie Benton, Ken Haywood, uh, Benny Briscoe, Willie LeRon, Boogie Watts, and foremost, Cyclone Hart. So we come from a, a, a powerful braid of good fighters. And I think, in my mind, always when I was coming up, that we had the best fighters in the world from Philadelphia. And I tried to do everything I can to become champion because I wanted it. And I really appreciate being on a tremendous card at this moment and see my son get a chance to do what I wanted to do. Thank you. Mayweather Promotions, we have quite a few young up-and-coming rising stars. But this next young man, he's one of the top 
young rising stars in the sport today. He's a very, very exciting fighter. He hails from Chicago, Illinois, and he fights out of Las Vegas. He comes to us with an undefeated record. He's 9-0 with nine KOs. Look out for him come Saturday night. He's going to put on a tremendous performance. Come up to the podium, Andrew Tabidi. First, I want to thank God. Um, it's just it's an incredible um, experience to be on this court, and um, I want to thank God for I me. What promotions they changed my life, man. Uh, God bless them. Um, I just love and appreciate everybody that supported me, and uh, I'm gonna give y'all a show May second. I'm gonna keep my father in my career. Appreciate y'all. Next up another one of our very, very young, exciting fighters. Um, he comes from Ohio. He's fighting in a very talent-laden division, 154-pound class. There are a number of young, up-and-coming, rising stars who are going to be future champions. And I'm very, very proud of this next gentleman, and he's going to be a world champion within one year. Mark my words on that. Coming to us, from Ohio, he's 11 and 0 with nine KOs, and he's definitely representing the Buckeye State. He's a fast, 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 fast rising junior middleweight. None other than Chris Pearson. How you guys doing? Uh, first of all, let me just soak this in real quick because it's a blessing to be in this position. I got to thank, first of all, I got to thank the Lord uh, for blessing me with the team I have, the family I have, the support system I have. Uh, like he said, next year I'm trying to be a world champion. I feel like this is the year of separation. Um, it is a lot of talented fighters in my division, but I don't believe there's nobody more talented than me and nobody's going to outwork me. So uh, at this point, I'm thankful for the opportunity, but it's just boxing. I do this in my sleep, it's what I do. So we have performed uh, and come Saturday night. I look to remain undefeated and uh, take another step closer to becoming a world champion. Thank you guys. There'll be two fights shown on television prior to the main event. And in the first fight, uh, we're proud to present the WBO Featherweight Championship of the World. It matches the leading contender from Puerto Rico, Bayamon, Puerto Rico, Gamalier Gami Rodriguez, against a man who won the world title in his second professional fight, third professional fight, uh, by defeating Gary Russell. Vasil Lomachenko is a legendary fighter at this young age. He is considered to be the greatest amateur fighter of all time. Uh, and now he looks for the same type of success he had as an amateur in the professional ranks. But this will be a very competitive fight because Gami Rodriguez is a Puerto Rican who comes to fight and believes that he can upset uh, Vasil's apple cart. So it's a pleasure for me to bring to the microphone from Bayamon, Puerto Rico, Gami Rodriguez. Hey. 
Y la verdad que Dios me los bendiga a todos. I want to bless everybody today. Este, quiero agradecerle a nuestro Señor Jesucristo por darme esta gran oportunidad. I want to thank Jesus Christ for this opportunity. Agradecerle a la compañía Toro Brand también. I want to thank Toro Brand Company. A los Machenko también por la oportunidad. I want to thank Lomachenko for the opportunity. Pero les quiero decir que el día 2 de mayo estoy 100% seguro que me voy a ser campeón del mundo. I want to let you know that the May 2nd I will be the world champion. Puerto Rico va a tener un nuevo campeón mundial. Puerto Rico will have a new world champion. En el nombre de Jesucristo. In the name of Jesus. Que Dios me lo bendiga. God bless you. For those of us who love boxing, and love to follow boxing. We love to see very, very talented fighters. That's why Floyd Mayweather, for example, has the following that he does, because obviously when you see Floyd fight, you know that it's a major talent that you're watching. Vasil Lomachenko has talent that people in professional boxing have not yet seen. As great as he was in the amateur ranks, I really believe that he will exceed that as a professional. When people say to me, after Floyd and after Manny, and there will come a time, uh, are gone, uh, who are the big superstars in boxing? And I know there are many, and a lot of the young men up here believe that they are the next big thing. And many will be. But I know that Vasil Lomachenko will be a big, big superstar in the sport of boxing. And we are very pleased to announce, before we have him up here, that prior to this press conference, we have signed a five-year new contract to promote this young man uh, from the Ukraine, uh, who we believe will do great things in the professional ranks. So now, because there's a lot of interest in him all over the world, I would like to take a couple of minutes to ceremoniously sign a paper symbolic of the contract that we just signed. From the WBO featherweight champion, the two time Olympic gold medalist from the Ukraine, please welcome Vasil Lomachenko and his manager, Igas Klemis. Всем добрый день. Я хотел бы сказать огромное спасибо за предоставленный шанс открывать такое мега событие, такой супер супер бой, который произойдет 2 мая, и я рад, что я буду на перпевью человеком, который откроет это мероприятие и оставит свой след, и оставит свой бокс в этом мероприятии. За это огромное спасибо по парму компании Топран. Ну и традиционно, конечно же, огромное спасибо всей моей команде всем, кто помогал мне готовиться к этому бою, всей моей семье и моим друзьям. Спасибо. Good afternoon, everybody. Um, I'm very excited to be on a, such a big bout, like May 2nd is going to be a big show around the world. Um, and I'm very happy to be the opening bout, which is going to be shown in a, around the world. Um, it's a very big, huge, mega, mega fight, 
I wanted to thank my promotional company, Bob Arum Top Rank, and uh, of course I wanted to thank my team who helped me to prepare my family, my friends who's going to be following. Thank you. Before I announce the lead-in fight to the main event, um, like for Mark Taffet to come up to the podium from HBO. Thank you, Leonard. Good afternoon, everybody. Thanks a lot for joining us today and for being with us this week in what will surely be not only a memorable weekend and memorable night, Saturday night, but something that we'll all talk about for generations to come. Okay. Interestingly, today I am representing the joint production and joint distribution of HBO and Showtime for the pay-per-view telecast Saturday night. We have worked for a number of months uh, with the Showtime team to put together what we believe is not only the biggest, most comprehensive, and best marketing and promotion plan in the history of pay-per-view boxing, but also a true dream team of broadcasters for Saturday night. The fans are going to see a very, very special and memorable telecast, not only in the ring, but outside and around the ring when you see the best of HBO and Showtime joining together Saturday night. So we're very, very excited about that for the fans. Thank you very much. <laughs> My number one fan. Right there. <laughs> that was great. Um, threw me off. Don't throw me off now. I forgot where I was. So we, uh, of course, have a magnificent main event. The main event that people have been waiting for for years and years. But it is beautiful to see that on a fight that features two veterans in the sport's biggest and best, we also get to show the fans the best of the future. Leo Santa Cruz is an all-action fighter. You don't sit down and look away for a minute when Leo's in the ring. He throws a lot of punches and he'll be making his first appearance at featherweight in search of big names and big name fights. And uh, Leo, glad you're on the show. I uh, look forward to seeing your fight Saturday night. Wish you the best. Um, Leo is an undefeated fighter and he'll keep that record intact Saturday night. On the other side, to uh, Bob and Vasil and Igis, first, let me congratulate you on the uh, deal. It's a pleasure to hear about that. Um, I hope we're around at HBO for that ride, but um, we look forward to working with who we believe is the next great young star in the sport, and um, not only one of the greatest amateurs, if not the greatest amateur in history, but uh, what a tremendous platform uh, and opportunity it is. Back in 2002, the last time actually HBO and Showtime worked together, when Lennox Lewis and Mike Tyson fought in Memphis, Tennessee. There was a young man on that undercard, uh, someone that uh, people hadn't yet learned a lot about. Uh, he performed on that pay-per-view telecast, and he went on to become one of the megastars of the sport and of this generation. That young man was Manny Pacquiao, who will be facing Floyd Mayweather Saturday night. And I don't think it's lost on Team Lomachenko the parallels uh, and uh, similarities that this Saturday night may offer them. So uh, I wish the Seal of Vegas, your team, the best of luck Saturday night. We look forward to a great telecast. We will uh, begin our telecast uh, 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific. Uh, I want to make sure that you all take note of the fact that Wednesday, excuse me, Friday night at 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 Pacific, there will be a tremendous production, again featuring the joint talent teams of HBO and Showtime. It's called Way In Live, and it will, interestingly, for the first time, be telecast simultaneously on both networks. So it will be difficult to miss that Way In show. Then Saturday night, another very special effort at 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 Pacific, for that last hour, that final hour leading in to the super fight, 
both HBO and Showtime will be simulcasting Countdown Live. It'll be a red carpet show from uh, uh, the celebrities coming into the event through what's going on in the arena and outside around it. It'll be very exciting. It'll bring the fans right up to the minute. And then it'll turn over to the fans to use their remote controls in order to pay-per-view telecast. So uh, a great effort together. And most importantly, I want you to know that we have seen a tremendous number of orders so far on pay-per-view, far exceeding what we had expected and even hoped for. We believe that, aside from the fact that we have a super fight on our hands, a lot of that reflects the early ordering that's taking place across the country. Many, many people who've never purchased pay-per-view boxing are buying Saturday night's telecast. There will be an unprecedented rush of orders on Saturday night, and so I want to please let the fans know that if you want to make sure you get that telecast Saturday night, don't wait till 9 p.m. Saturday night. Order it early. Order it now, order it today, order it tomorrow. Make sure that you get the telecast that you've been dreaming of and waiting for for years and years. Thank you very much, and I wish you all the best. The lead-in fight will be a very, very exciting fight, and it will feature Leo Santa Cruz. And he'll be fighting a gentleman by the name of Jose Cayetano. Um, he's hailing out of Tijuana, Mexico. He's coming to us with a 17 and three record with AKOs, and then he will be making his U.S. debut come Saturday night. Was that? Buenas tardes. Good afternoon. Quiero agradecerle a Dios por la oportunidad que me está dando. I want to thank God for the opportunity He's given me. Sé que nadie cree en mí porque soy el número 110 del mundo. I know no one believes in me since I'm the 110th in the world. <laughs> Pero créanme que el sábado 2 de mayo ven, espero y en Dios que los reflectores volteen hacia mí. Uh, but come May 2nd, after the fight, you're going to remember me a lot. Vengo a dar la sorpresa y a ganarle a Leo Santa Cruz. Gracias. I come here to be a big surprise to be the Santa Cruz. Thank you. This next gentleman, I think very, very highly of. I don't throw around compliments too often, but uh, in my opinion, he's one of the classiest gentlemen in the sport. Um, he, he's a very fan-friendly fighter. He's a Mexican warrior. And he represents Mexico very, very well. Um, I can't say enough about what a classy gentleman he is. And oftentimes in boxing, you see a lot of trash talk going on. And, you know, things sometimes get taken out of context. But this gentleman, he's, he's a professional inside and outside the ring. And he always comes to give the fans the best. He comes to us with a 29-0 record with one draw, 17 KOs. And he's the current WBC Super Bantamweight World Champion. And he's hi highly recognized as one of the top exciting fighters in our sport today. Please give him a round of applause for one of my favorite fighters, Leo Santa Cruz. Thank you. Good afternoon to everyone. Muy buenas tardes a todos. And first, I want to thank God. I want to thank my manager. I want to thank Mayweather Promotions. I want to thank Leonard. Uh, I want to thank Showtime and Mayweather for, for this opportunity. I'm very excited. I'm more than excited to be on this on the card. Uh, I think this is the biggest card I could be in. I know I'm going to be in some other big cards, but I, I know I'm not going to be in a big on the card like this no more. And. I just gonna, I wanna show the world that don't know me that who Leo Santa Cruz is. Uh, I trained really hard for this fight. I'm always prepared. I, uh, when I got this opportunity, I was very excited uh, that uh, I couldn't believe it. I still can't believe it. It's, it's gonna be a history night that day, and I'm very happy to be part of that history. And I, I know uh, a lot of fans, they have 
been talking stuff about me and bad and but all I can do is that, that I thank them for because they think very highly of me and they they think I deserve a bigger competition but you know I never understand no fighter any fighter up in the ring is dangerous and any punch will change the fight and sometimes those fighters that people think uh, are not that good are the ones that give you the tougher fights and bigger fights so uh, uh, Jose Cayetano said he's, he's ready he comes prepared and hopefully he's ready cause, so that we could give the fans a great show and I don't know, I'm just very excited happy to be on this card and I want to show the world who lives in Santa Cruz and give them a great fight thank you guys